Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Fiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at an interesting watch from Baltony Watches. I did feature one of their watches in the past, I believe three or four months ago, and I was actually really surprised by the outstanding quality of the watches for the price. And this one is no exception. I was actually really blown away by this watch. For 250 bucks, I think this is a great watch in terms of actual quality and what you're getting for your money. Uh, it beats a lot of brands in terms of their actual, actual quality case cut and build and kind of the specifications and uh, kind of customization as well. Obviously, they're probably a much bigger factor than a lot of micro brands, so they're able to do that much, you know, more easily. Um, but I think this is a really cool looking watch in, and also in a traditional size of 36 millimeters, which is not that easy to find. Um, obviously, you know, this is called their Explore watch. Um, this is the chocolate brown dial. There's a black variation as well. It's actually a really nice vintage look to it, and I think it's really cool. Anyway, let's see what's on my wrist. I'll show you the packaging and then we'll dig a little deeper. On my wrist today is the Oceanica Mako Diver. This is a 200 meter dive watch, a limited edition of 100 pieces, and it was successful on Kickstarter. There are still three left in stock of the blue variation, I believe, on their website, and you can uh, grab one if you want. Really cool, great quality watch as well. Uh, you know, for under 250 US dollars. Just a really good everyday diver. Now your Boltony will arrive in this cardboard box you can see with their gold logo here. You open it up and you get a really nice pouch. I'm not sure if it's genuine leather. Um, I don't know, it could be some kind of vegan leather. Um, but it's a pretty nice pouch for the money. It's a $250 watch. There might be also a discount code on their website if you check it out. I'll drop the, uh, the link down in the description below. Uh, but yeah, this is the box it actually comes in. It also comes with a tool here as you can see. Um, you get a tool here to adjust the screw link bracelet and you get a little polishing cloth and your warranty. In here, this is where the watch does come. It's a little pouch, kind of like a watch roll, but it's more like a kind of glasses case, I'd say. Um, but the watch fits pretty snug in here, as you can see, and it comes on this little kind of pad here, like the vintage Rolexes used to come back in the day, uh, which is a nice little touch. You know, for the price, I think you're getting, you know, more than you should, considering a lot of brands use kind of like uh, you know, those pleather boxes. Um, yeah, just really cool with their logo. Now what do you actually get for your money? Um, you're getting a classic vintage size 36 millimeter uh, timepiece here, and it's actually very, very nicely built. Uh, solid 316L stainless steel, comes on an oyster style bracelet, which is actually one of the best kind of oyster bracelets I've seen from some of the micro or smaller brands, uh, which I was quite impressed by, to be quite honest. And the case cut and finish, honestly, it looks and feels like an explorer. The case I'm talking about, uh, the actual finishing, this brush finishing on the top portion of the lugs, it looks exactly like an older 36 millimeter. It's really quite quite impressive, uh, I must say. Anyway, uh, it's 36 millimeters across. You're looking at about 38.6 with that screw down crown there. You get 200 meters of water resistance, making this a very capable watch. You can bring it in the water, you can bring it in the pool or the beach if you'd like. Um, yeah, shallow diving, you're good to go. Screw down crown, screw down case back. Uh, solid 316L stainless steel, like I stated, all around. The actual uh, bezel itself is highly polished. Tops of the lugs are brushed. Very nice brushing as well, kind of matches that brushed oyster bracelet. Flanks are highly polished, as you would expect, and it kind of, you know, reminds me of the 18038 gold uh, day date. Um, kind of that thicker uh, case, um, which is nice. You get a little Boltony logo on the crown as well. And uh, yeah, just very nice. Look at those lines. I mean, just really sharp. I was really impressed by this. Uh, it goes to show you what you can actually get for your money. And maybe luxury watches, I don't know. Maybe they're really not worth it. I don't know. Um, but I was just really blown away. I've never really uh, never really said that before about a watch. I'm not getting paid by Boltony either. I'm just telling you guys the honest truth. Um, but yeah, other than that, in terms of actual lug to lug, you're looking at 43.5 millimeters top to bottom. In between the lugs, you're looking at 20 millimeters, making it very capable to swap out to a leather band or a rubber band if you'd like. Um, yeah, I guess you can go on a leather band, a uh, rubber band, considering it's 200 meters water resistant. And actual case thickness, that is including the domed sapphire with anti-reflective coating, you're looking at 12.2 millimeters, which is pretty thin. I'd say it's pretty decent. Uh, thickness for a watch of 36 just I don't know it just looks proportionate in my opinion with a 36 millimeter case um, anyway what's actually inside of this watch and let's get closer in on the dial here 
So getting a little closer on the dial, you can see we get that nice chocolate brown dial, a little bit of distortion, applied markers for the hours, you get a 369, automatic 200 meters printed, Boltony printed, get your Mercedes hour hand, you get your sword uh, minutes hand there. As you can see, that crystal is domed. You are going to get some nice reflective uh, little views on that. If you shine the light on it, you can see that 6 and 9 kind of come alive, <clears throat> which is pretty nice. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the chocolate brown dial. It comes in the black as well. Maybe I would kind of like the black dial better. I'm not 100% sure. This is more vintage-y. Um, the black dial is kind of probably more modern, in my honest opinion there. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, we're using an NH38 inside of this watch. Most of you guys are familiar with the NH series movements. The NH38 is the dateless version of the NH35. You get uh, hacking, hand winding. There is no date on this movement. You get 24 joules, about a 40 hour power reserve, beats at three hertz. Go ahead and unscrew the crown here. Pretty decent grip. No wibble wobble, very nice. No crown guards as well. It's pretty smooth, the winding, just as you would expect from an NH38. It is already running, as you can see. Just one position, hack the movement, you can set the time. That's it, easy. Screw that crown back down, no issues there. Now the bracelet itself, like I said, I was quite impressed by this bracelet. Solid end links, fits up very nicely to those lugs there. I really like the actual clasp. It's very custom, I've never seen this clasp before. You get three micro adjustments, but it just really feels really luxurious. The click is very nice, solid stainless steel. As you can see, it is fully milled and it's kind of different than some of the other clasps. Um, it's just really nice, satisfying the click. Um, the bracelet is held in by screws, which I thought was really nice, especially for this price. And it is brushed, highly polished on the sides, and the brushing is very, very good. Kind of equal to the case there, as you can see, which is a nice thing to see. But anyway, three micro adjustments, and then you can get a look at the case back here. Pretty standard case back, just screwed down. You get solid end links, as you can see there. Um, spiral brushed on the case back, nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, other than that, the watch is, uh, I would say good for night use as well. There's a lot of loom on this watch. I'm going to get you a loom shot right now. Everything is loomed down to that lollipop tip, uh, sweeping seconds hand, all the 369, and all of the hour markers as well. And the loom's actually really good at Super Luminova. Let's take a quick look. Went ahead and loomed it up with the torch, and yep. The loom is very good. Uh, evenly applied, very crisp and clean, nice green glow to it. Everything looks pretty even actually, um, which is kind of rare. But yeah, great loom, I must say. Really, really good loom. Now planted on my 6.5 inch wrist, watch looks right at home. It kind of wears like an 18038 or a Rolex President from the 80s or 70s or even 90s. Kind of has that feeling of the 18038 or 18238 if you have one of those. Um, but yeah, it wears really nice on the wrist. I must say the band is very comfortable as well. It doesn't pull hair. And as you can see there, it fits across my wrist just perfectly. And my wrist is 6.5 inches. So 44 top to bottom is a perfect, perfect fit. Um, obviously I can wear up to like a 41 millimeter watch, but you know, some of these smaller watches at 36 are nice to wear sometimes. They just feel, you know, more compact on a smaller wrist. But yeah, anyway, very legible dial, easy to read at a glance, no issues there. And uh, looks really, really nice. I think I would keep it on the Oyster bracelet. Anyway, guys, there you have it. This is the Boltony kind of Explorer watch. I think it's a pretty cool watch. I like the quality. I think the case is very nicely cut. And the bracelet is very nice. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. There are no quality control issues. Nice packaging as well. You get that little pouch. thought that was a nice little touch. Um, but yeah, I think they're a pretty cool brand. They have a lot of other watches as well uh, that are pretty actu actually really nice. Um, I've only seen two of their watches, you know, in the flesh, but I can say from this one and the other one, their quality is definitely there for the money. Um, I think they're a pretty decent brand. They're putting out some cool watches. I think a lot of people probably do like these watches. Great clasp, custom, and, uh, all around a great quality watch. Obviously, if you don't like this kind of 36 millimeter smaller size, if you have like an eight inch wrist, this probably is not going to be for you. Um, you have a wrist like mine, seven inches and below, I'd say this can definitely fit your wrist if you like the style. And you're on a budget, not really budget, so you know, $250 is not super cheap, but um, if you're looking for something of this style and nature for that price, I think I uh, can't go wrong with this one, guys. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below, as usual. This is Watch Fiction Watch Reviews with the Baltany. And uh, yeah, we'll talk more below. I will drop a link to them so you can check them out. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. Bye.